Hey everybody, we're doing a little more uh, transfer case work this morning and this is the uh, inch and a quarter inch and a quarter shaft case and I had to open up a whole bunch of these to get one good one uh, this was uh, <clears throat> this was the best case out of about four or five of them and uh, this is the Jeep that's going cross country so I want this to be a real good case I've already got the intermediate gear in and intermediate shaft and everything and uh, going to put this shaft in, but um, as you know, uh, there's a bushing in that shaft, and I get a lot of questions on how to get that bushing out and how to um, properly size it. And uh, today I'm just going to do a, a quick video, show you guys uh, how to get that bushing out without any trouble, and um, uh, maybe it'll keep somebody out of trouble. A lot of guys get them out successfully, then they put that bushing in, and um, they don't realize that it has to be reamed to size so uh, the other shaft won't fit in like that hey guys this is the bushing that's in this shaft right here uh, it's set back uh, just under half an inch like 495 thousandths and that sits in there getting this bushing out and probably the easiest way uh, if you have a lathe is to go in there with a tiny boring bar and uh, and just remove that just cut that away um, but you got to be careful because um, guys have come in after they've ruined their they've cut into their shaft and they need an oversized bushing uh, for me to make so if you don't have a lathe you don't have a small boring bar you're not comfortable doing that um, I've got a puller set up here and this is the whole shaft in here with a puller and Gary's gonna just show you the whole setup. Now is that is that a puller that you fabricated, Brian? No, this is something you could buy. This is an OTC brand. Okay. This is a blind hole bushing puller. And I'll show you the whole setup when I get this bushing out. I've been kind of uh, getting it started here. It can be a bear to come out, but just keep working at it. Can you see that coming out, Gary? Yes. Okay, there's the bushing out of there. And let's see if we can let that go. There's the bushing. And here's how this guy works. Got that in focus, Gary? Yeah. Okay, so as you thread that there, you can see that open up a little bit. And that'll grab onto uh, the bushing. It's a little. Um, teeth right there little shoulder little shoulder and you stick it in a hole while it's small like that send it in there and then open it up and it'll grab right onto your bushing is that the internal on that bushing pretty pretty messed up yeah it's all scored up yeah and messed up and it, it was oversized you want a pretty good fit on the shaft going in there now, the next problem I see a lot of guys do is they'll put their new bushing in and when you put this bushing in see it's got a slit right there yep now that'll squeeze and then you ream this to size uh, if you just put it in there once it squeezes down that shaft will never fit in there and when you set that like I say it's from the end here uh, 495 thousandths down that's not real critical half inch um, just don't keep it flush to the end like that and don't send it way down in there like that is how it goes in uh, so now I'll reset up and uh, I'll show you how I drive the bushing in Go. okay the bushing right now before we put it in is uh, 630 and a half and uh, we'll put that in there I still got the shaft with some rags and the vise and uh, I'll just get started with a little rubber mallet. 
Hang on, bro. Go ahead, I'm going crooked already. Boy, that's giving me some grief. Let me get a little driver. Okay, I've got a little driver here and uh, a metal hammer. Now, rubber hammer wasn't getting this one started. Okay, we got it flush. Now I just got to socket the right size and I'm just going to drive it down just a little bit. Okay, we'll check that. And like I said, you want to be approximately a half inch down. That's 384. Just got to go a little bit more. <laughs> I think that'll do it. Okay. So, now that the shaft's in, the bushing's in, we're going to try to put the shaft in there. As you can see, there's no way that's going to fit in there. That bearing has uh, squeezed down, so now this is way too tight. So we need to ream that to the right size and still allow some clearance for oil. Can you see that, Gary? Just up a little bit, Brian. A little more. Just a little more. Right there. Okay, this shaft is uh, 622 and a half. So we're going to ream that with a 5 8 reamer, be 625. That'll give us two and a half thousandths of oil clearance. So uh, let me go grab a reamer and uh, I'll be right back with you and I'll show you how we ream that. Okay, guys, what I have here is a 5 8 reamer. Just going to set it in our bushing. Keep it as straight as you can. Just go by hand. Don't hook this up to a drill or anything. You're just taking a cut. Nice and straight. Did you do it dry? Yeah. Yeah, this is a, uh, a bronze type material. You don't need any lubricant in there. You're taking a very light cut. And we're through. Now we've got a perfect 625 um, ream on that bushing. Just give you guys a quick look at the box that that blind hole puller came in in case anybody's interested in, in getting something like this. Uh, I bought a whole kit, but, but this is probably the only one of these um, that I use. But uh, they're great for pulling all kinds of internal blind hole bushings out. So uh, let's go over to the case and I'll show you that. Okay guys, this is the OTC kit. This is the smallest guy here. I think that'll go into uh, a half inch hole. And I think you can bite an uh, inch and a quarter with this one. Um, they fit many different sizes because they expand. Uh, that's what you get in the kit. And that is OTC part number 4581. Uh, it's not a very expensive kit, but it's super handy. 
Uh, you can pull uh, pilot bushings with it, things like that. Um, and I'm not associated with OTC in any way. I just, um, uh, you know, when I like something, I like to tell other guys about it. So this 4581 OTC blind hole uh, puller set uh, be something good to add to your uh, toolbox if you do any kind of this work. And uh, if you don't have a lathe, this is really the only way to go. Otherwise, you just drive yourself crazy trying to get that bushing out. So, hope this helps some of you guys out. Uh, just a short one today. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.